check out what was just dropped off this morning. This is a 2018 Ford Explorer Interceptor Utility. She was a former Arizona State Trooper SUV. I bought her from an online police auction. I'm gonna fully search her and see what did she came with. Let's find out what was left behind. What am I gonna do with her? Let's find that biscuit. Let's go. I came with this odd looking light bar that was actually stuffed in the passenger seat. So it's a federal signal valor. Looks like there's some sort of lights in there. She has really good tires. There's a Unity spotlight. All right, I'm gonna start my search from the front and work my way to the back. All right, let's take a quick look inside. This SUV is hella dirty. She smells like straight cigarettes and alcohol. All right, got my gloves on. So yeah, this is probably where all the that smell is coming from. And uh, oh yeah, look at this. These are the brackets for the light bar. So there we go right here. We can attach it to the roof nice and securely. Nice. All right, so it looks like they have a Troy center console and they were running a federal signal smart controller. It looks like the brain is over here. Let me grab my tools and unbolt that. I got the brain unbolted. And look at this thing, Smart Siren Platinum. Never seen anything like it before. Kind of looks like an Atari Jaguar, doesn't it? <laughs> so this controls this right here. I'm gonna try messing with it here in just a bit, see if I can get it to light up. Check out this dash. This is a 2018. Is this speed worth your life? Is it worth it? Mm. no it's not worth it guys remember the faster your car is moving the less control you have of your vehicle stick to the end of the video i'm gonna show you how i literally almost died this close to complete oblivion oh oof, no wonder it smells like freaking cigarettes it's hotter than a biscuit in an oven look at this extra long cable here we're gonna have to cut that real quick holy sneezel okay what do we have here this is a whelan single avenger super led dash light let's light this thing up okay here it is oh nice super super bright even in the daylight red and blue avenger all right we got a flare quick survive fire starter Oh, cool. Okay. It's really light, so maybe it's like a practice dummy shell. Anything that makes sense. All right, let's take a look under here. Looks like some sort of uh, unlit cigar. It's like somebody was partying in here. Look at that over there. It's more alcohol. She was supposed to be delivered over a week ago, but she was delayed for the reason of complications due to climate change. The driver said that guys were stuck in a desert because of heat complications, and it looked like somebody has been sleeping inside, and I'll show you why. As a matter of fact, when this car was first dropped off, this seat was all the way back, and there's a pillow and a blanket in here. It's the first thing I threw away. I don't know what the hell they were doing. It's a keychain laser pointer. Okay, so I took a chance with this car online. It said it was a non runner. It came with no key. Let me show you under the hood. Even if I had a key, I would not be able to start it because look at all this. It's missing a bunch of components. A bunch of stuff is disconnected. The timing chain's not even in there. There's no belt. A bunch of random missing pieces. No battery. But this car is going to need an engine swap. All right, let's take a look on the other side. All right, dude, what the hell, man? I know these weren't the, I know these weren't the cops that were drinking all this. I think it was probably the transport guys or something. Okay, looks like a laptop mount pole thing, whatever you call this. Yeah, it's a laptop mount charger. Another fire starter. Some flares. This looks like radio antennas, a 12 gauge buckshot, 70 millimeter 12 gauge shot. Cocoa butter lotion. It was like, seriously, what the hell were they doing in here? Lots of tissue everywhere. 
Very suspicious tissue. What the? F Cop glasses. Puma? Oh, but look, there's scratched right there. Pretty bad. Well, it looks like they have intensive heat damage. Arizona can get very hot. Let's get place. Two pack emergency poncho. Who would need a poncho in the heat? <laughs> oh, look at this. The original price sticker. Original price, $34,000, including all the upgrades. That is not that bad at all. Oh, look at that. First thing that falls out is another 70 millimeter 12 gauge shot. This looks like a Taser X2 holster, but it looks a little chewed up with some dog hairs on there. <laughs> Maybe this was a, no, no, this wasn't a K9 unit. Speaking of the K9 unit, the K9 unit giveaway has been postponed to August 1st due to complications with DMV paperwork and slow rebuilding progress. But no matter what, rain or shine, winner will be announced August 1st. Stick to the end for more details. More flares. All right, we got flares galore. Uh, this, I think this belongs to the, that holster. That's something you should know. If you ever buy an old police car, you're gonna have to deal with a lot of car spaghetti and just make sure you don't clip the wrong wire because you'll lose your brake lights and your horn. All right, let's go look on the other side. <laughs> this is more tissue. The hell were they doing in here? I don't even wanna ask anymore. This looks like some sort of amber beacon light. I wonder if it still works. Actually, let's test this out. There it is, guys. Amber beacon. Oh, 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 oops. Some more shots, some more flares. Four rounds and a fake one. Okay, a little box here. Uh, look, look at this. This, these are the missing parts from the engine. I guess maybe I should hold on to these. Look at that. State trooper, paramedic. Oh, is this a paramedic unit? That would probably explain this thing right here, which we'll get to in just a bit. And look, here's the alternator. What the hell's the alternator doing in the back seat? Some more flares. Oh, wow, look at this. This is a, a deceased. It's basically one of those dead person toe tags. Something you would see in a paramedic unit. Some sort of mask. All right, I'm gonna remove the center console and the floor plate. All right, got him out. Okay, I'm gonna show you something really gross, okay? <laughs> Look what was here when I pulled out the center console. I took my gloves off because it was freaking hot and my fingers are sweating. This is a freaking disposable urine bag. You can see the yellow through the bag. <laughs> Gross. Okay, let's take a better look at this. Check this out. These are air tab fuel savers. Supposed to give you better aerodynamics. Some sort of lights right there. Pretty cool. Check this out. Look how cool she looks at night. She has this reflective vinyl wrap. State trooper. So sick you can barely see it in the daytime and nighttime. Super sick. I love it. Okay, so I got this genius idea. So I went to the local spy store and I bought this UV light so we can investigate this vehicle. Let me turn off my camera light real quick. So a UV light picks up bacteria, urine, body fluids such as blood, seminal fluids and causes them to become fluorescent so that the naked eye can detect them. Let's see what this vehicle has. Okay, that's from earlier. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't. I. <laughs> what the heck is that? That's like. That's not even a joke. It's all. Ew. It's on the steering wheel. <laughs> oh, it's in the tissue. That's freaking sick. Ew. What the hell is that? This is too much. I'm done for the day. Okay, so now it's the next day and it looks like somebody pushed the SUV forward and put this piece of junk here. I don't know whose this is. So let's go ahead and continue our search. Look at this, you can't even see the stains in the daytime. Oh, check it out. Some sort of handcuff key. Yup, yup. 
Okay, I have no key. How am I supposed to get in here? I already tried putting power to the car and I even pushed this little magic button right over here. It's supposed to pop the trunk open, but it's not working. So the next best thing is to just climb over. And ooh, another one. And another one. Not I look, another one, nice. Okay, you know what, let's start with this. Uh, some sort of uh, rear light. It's freaking hotter than a biscuit in an oven in here. I feel like I'm in a sauna. Guys, if I pass out, call 911, okay? I actually like it when it's hot. I'd rather be hot than cold. <clears throat> All right, here is the light. I believe this is federal signal. Let's go ahead and light this up. All right, there it is, red and blue. Beautiful. Okay, so I see more flares. Another shot right there. Yep. Let's see. It's nothing there. Let's open the top one if we can. Uh, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Some type of sticky, sticky aluminum. But you know what they say? When you hang with Ricky, you get all sticky. Oh, the keys. Nice. Oh, yeah, it's the key. Police line, do not cross. Okay, this is now officially a crime scene. Give me something that's gonna make my viewers happy. If there's any biscuits in here, make yourself known. white round is this what i think it is i think it is this is a super sock bean bag round it's, it looks like a little smushed a bit nice i freaking love these unfortunately they're illegal in california let's go put this thing to the test somebody came and ditched this refrigerator Anyways, it's perfect. Let's freaking shoot this thing with it, right? I think so. All right, guys, got the shoddy, got the bean bag. I'm hoping it fits because it smushed a little bit. But yeah, it looks like it's gonna be good. All right, let's put it to the test. All right, guys, I'm here at the District 76 shooting range. I got my safety gear on, and we're gonna go ahead and use the bean bag round to shoot the refrigerator. Here it goes. <laughs> okay, let's go check out the damage. As you can see, there is a dent right here pretty big dent this is a pretty uh pretty sturdy refrigerator here i should have shot maybe the other weaker refrigerator but ouch if you got hit by that i wouldn't be too happy we're gonna see if a super sock beanbag can break a window funny man does not think so let's, let's find, find out, out. <laughs> <laughs> Those bean bags must hurt. <laughs> yeah, I think we got them. Hit the door. Oh my gosh. Let's go one more time. Holy smoke. Oh, he got some yeah. damage. He, it wasn't lethal. Ooh. Looks like he lived through it. Let's check out the damage. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I think it bounced over here somewhere too. Yeah, I saw it. That's crazy. That's some serious. Okay, look at this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's some serious Tore that thing up, dude. Nice. Damn. Well, not lethal, but uh, probably after you get hit, you're probably gonna want to die. You don't get hit with too many of these, dude. <laughs> that smells good. Let's 
see if I can find the bag. Well, this is the, oh, it's warm. This is the shell. And here's the bean bag. Feels like a sock filled with BBs. Let's go ahead and open this up. See what's inside. Could open the bean bag. There it is. Tiny little metal balls. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you guys how I almost died. Well, I was driving up this road with my truck and trailer and I was making a turn right here when out of nowhere a Honda Accord going at least 70 miles per hour zooms right past me. Literally, my paint touched his paint and within seconds another Honda Accord zooms right past me. If I was going just one second faster, I would have been T-boned by a Honda can you imagine, uh, you know what, I don't even want to imagine what would have happened. But damn, guys, hit that like button for life. So glad it didn't happen. I'm alive, you're alive. Let's celebrate. Right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. For the K9 unit, the K9 all, the, unit, links all the links are in the description. Peace. Peace. Trying to record! Jeez. Peace.